Hi, I'm Vicky Gent and I have been an ImmunoPD ambassador for about three years. Currently, I am a PhD student at the Vaccines and Infectious Diseases Analytics Research Unit. And my research focuses on the evaluation of Group B streptococcus proteins as potential maternal vaccine candidates. So um, thank you guys so much. You have actually made such a valuable input to Immunopedia from the beginning of the pandemic. Um, one of the things that we hope that ambassadors do is to actually promote immunology research and also during COVID-19 is like an extra opportunity for people to kind of keep up the literature if they want. But I also know the pandemic has affected all of us in different ways. And we made it optional, not mandatory which was really good because people can opt in depending on um, what circumstances they're in currently. And of all the people that um, took part, the three of you actually contributed the most during the pandemic and did make my life so much easier. Like you don't understand. <laughs> and I'm very grateful that you did. So like, I wanted to know how you or your research has been affected by COVID-19. To be very positive and look at the bright side of every experience <laughs> and every situation. But uh, I didn't say that that pandemic didn't affect, affect me somehow, but of course it has affected everyone uh, in this planet. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know the bright side that I was uh, I had to I had to go through the literature and to read more about my uh, my research that I was uh, I was about to start, and um, at the same time um, uh, I was able to carry out uh, deeper debates with other scientists and uh, those scientists of common research interest. So things went very pretty well, and uh, I had to improve my statistical analysis skill and uh, to write a preprint as well. And uh, so I think we, uh, I, I, managed to, <laughs> I managed to look at the bright side of this experience. <laughs> no, that's great, that's really great. So you're, you're part of that group that was flourishing during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's great. It's great to see that as well. Uh, it's, it's, it's been uh, since January, we've been trying to do some lab work, although not related to my thesis. This was another study that's coming up next year. So last year, because now I'm, I was getting into writing the thesis, I, I, I requested that they employ some technicians to, to help with the upcoming study. So I was training them uh, on flow cytometry, um, other lab techniques uh, that were new to them um, and we were trying to optimize uh, a flow cytometry panel for the study. Uh, so when um, COVID came in Kenya, I think the first case was March 13th when it was announced, we, we had to close down the lab and, uh, uh, you know, everyone works from home now. So Whereas that was kind of, you know, a downside to the upcoming study. It was good for me because now I got time to, to actually sit down and focus on my own project and try to finish it. Uh, I would say it's, it's been good just getting from home mm -hmm. uh, because of the extra time that you get in the day. You know, because usually it's like commuting to work, commuting back, then you have to make up in the night for the hours you spent commuting. <laughs> but then uh, staying at home was really good for me because I, I, I was able to have a quiet time um, and uh, get things done. I managed to submit a um, paper um, in June. Uh, and I think I'm just waiting for feedback on whether it's accepted. And now I'm working on another paper then I'll get back on the thesis and uh, finish up uh, a few uh, sections that are still uh, pending. So I, I, I really appreciate the quiet time I got to sit down and you know do some writing uh, and get the thesis going. I just I was just supposed to start my lab work when we went into lockdown. <laughs> So they shut down the labs and only allowed essential work, which is basically COVID work. So I had to wait for us to be called back 
to go in. But then luckily we were called back earlier, but mostly to do the admin work, like data cleaning for the COVID um, studies, which was kind of interesting too, because I didn't know we needed that much admin work for clinical studies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. at least I used that time to, to write protocols, my protocols, and read up more. But the main setback would be that not a lot of new research was in my field because most of them that were published was COVID work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you manage but to get on some of those studies? Uh, mostly just, I mean, like data capturing and data cleaning, that's it. Okay. No, it's good. Mm -hmm. At least you got some experience doing something COVID related, like tangible experience. <laughs> I think I the common theme is that even though COVID might have disrupted our initial plans, um, we have still found time to do other things and still push on with our own research in different ways, write manuscripts, um, do more literature review, get more stats help, have experience doing other things that's more admin related, like clinical trials are a lot of work. <laughs> I think a lot of people underestimate how much planning is needed for a clinical study. And without oh, yeah. proper planning, like your project just like falls apart. So that's also great. 